taking part in the Council on Legislation allows you to serve Rotary in a way that is available to very few Rotarians. As your district's representative to Rotary's legislative body, you will deliberate and vote on proposed amendments to Rotary International's constitutional documents as well as resolutions. The Council on Legislation is a busy and intense time for representatives. Reading the legislation and preparing prior to your arrival will be a great help and will allow you to participate effectively. Please bring your binder of legislation or download the materials to use at the Council. Please read your representative handbook, the Council on Legislation chapter in the Manual of Procedure, and the proposed rules of procedure. You should also complete the required trainings and regularly check the Council Workgroup site for new materials in advance of the Council. After you check in at the hotel, begin the Council registration process. This will include picking up your registration materials and getting credentialed. The first session of the Council will be an orientation session that provides a helpful review of the Council procedures. There will also be a practice Council debate to familiarise you with these procedures. You and the rest of the Council members will be assigned seating on the floor of the Chamber. Headphones and voting devices will be placed at your seat. Every word that is spoken during the Council is simultaneously interpreted in several languages, so be sure to use your headphones whenever necessary. At the front dais, the Council is presided over by the Council Chair, assisted by the Council Vice-Chair, Parliamentarian, Constitution and Bylaws Committee members and Council Secretary. In addition, members at large sit on the floor and are charged with facilitating debate as appropriate. The screens at the front of the Council Room will display the item currently being considered, as well as the item to be presented next in the order. After voting takes place, the results are also displayed on the screen. As with any parliamentary meeting, there are standard procedural matters that must precede the main business. Following the orientation session, the Council will convene its opening session by discussing several preliminary matters. This session will include an update on Rotary's strategic plan, a presentation of the five-year financial forecast, adoption of the rules of procedure, and the official transmission of the proposed legislation to the Council. Typically, the Council will begin conducting its main business of considering proposed legislation at the start of the next session. The Secretary of the Council introduces every proposal. The Council Chair then recognises the proposing Speaker. Every Speaker, whether offering legislation or debating it, must first be recognised by the Council Chair. As the representative of your district, you will be introducing all items that your district is proposing to the Council. However, should it become necessary for you to withdraw an item before it is proposed, forms are available for you to complete and hand to the Council Secretary. Alternatively, you can simply not appear to propose the item when it is announced and it will be considered withdrawn. When the item that you're going to propose is next in order, make your way to a proposer's microphone located near the front dais. Be prepared to move the principal motion when you are recognised by the Chair. Your time allotment is strictly limited, usually two to four minutes, so have your presentation prepared in advance. Rehearse it out loud while timing it to be sure that it will meet the time limit. Microphones are available for the proposers of legislation and there are additional microphones available for those taking part in the debate. After the principal motion is made, debate is called for. Those who wish to participate should approach the nearest microphone and wait to be recognised by the Chair. You will find a red, a green and a yellow card in your registration materials. The green signifies that you are in favour of a motion. The red signifies that you are opposed to a motion. The yellow signifies that you wish only to speak to a procedural point. A blue and gold card can also be found in your materials to close debate. 
hold up the coloured card signifying your position so that the council chair can see it. This will allow him or her to balance the debate evenly between those who are for and those against the motion. Normally each speaker is allotted one to three minutes, so your remarks must be very succinct. The mover of the principal motion is permitted to close the debate by making a statement, usually one to three minutes in length. After the debate is closed, the council chair will call for the vote. The Council on Legislation uses electronic voting devices. After the council chair says to vote, you have a few seconds to vote yes or no. The results are tallied immediately and displayed on the screens. If you are presenting or debating an item, take your voting device with you. A simple majority, whichever side has the most votes, is all that is required to decide most motions. In some cases, for example, an enactment that would change the RI constitution, a two-thirds majority is required, that is, at least twice as many votes in favour of the proposition as votes opposed. In this manner, the Council on Legislation proceeds through the proposals. Your time with Rotary's legislative body will be challenging but rewarding. It should prove to be a unique experience of your Rotary life and your district will value your experience when it prepares for the next Council on Legislation.